We're now going to turn our attention to tokens, taxonomy, page pass, and titles beginning with a talk briefly about what they mean, because I'm sure there's a few of you watching that don't know what those terms mean or what they do for you. Then we're going to build our form as it's set in our requirements, in our page path when content is saved, as well as the page title, all of which is going to involve the use of tokens, and in the case of form, taxonomy. What are tokens? If you've ever done any kind of programming where you have to use variables, well, that's one way of thinking of them. They represent data that is stored somewhere else in the database. An excellent example would be the name of the site, which is also often the name of the business or organization. Just think, if you had that manually coded in there and then you had to change that for some reason, what a nightmare that would be. That's where the power of tokens come in, is you store it once in the database, and then you reuse it wherever is appropriate, anywhere else in your setup for your site. Taxonomy is equally powerful, as it is an organizational or categorization kind of tool. We're going to be using it in connection with our forum boards, which are going to be organized into topics. Let's begin by creating and building our forum which is going to be under Structure, and then Forums. You'll note that when installed and activated, Drupal did create one for us, but we're going to add a few more. We're going to add a container first that's going to house all of our forums, and we're just calling this Organizational Forum, and repeat that under Description. This is going to be our root, so we want to leave it there and leave the weight alone. Save. Now I'm going to add a forum, which is going to be called Announcement. And let me pop open my cheat sheet to grab my prepared description. Copy and paste that in place, and yes, you note that you can use HTML in these. This is going within our container, and I want this to be at the top of it, so it is going to have a very low weight, which means it's going to be sucked up to the top. Here you can see our form shaping up. Note I could use the drag and drop interface, but when I'm in there already editing them, it just makes more sense to use weight. Now let's edit the one prepared for us by adding a description. Put it in our container. This one we want to go down at the very end. So we're going to give it a very high weight. And save. That's as far as I'm going to go with building the forum. Obviously, depending upon what you're doing, you would probably add even more containers and forms. Before we turn our attention very quickly to page paths, let's talk about where taxonomy is normally stored at, which is under structure, and then taxonomy. And you'll note that this is where it has our terms for our forum. Now we go to Configuration, scroll all the way down here to URL aliases, and then Patterns. The suggestion when Drupal's installed for all content paths is Content Node Title. If you want to know what tokens are available to me, each section you look at under this area and it tells you what types of tokens you can use in each area. What I'm going to do is file this down to node title, copy that and use that also on my page. Now for blog entry paths I'm going to call this member blogs and then for the author if you want to know where I got that from I'll take it out and go under nodes and there you can see where it is the node author oh and I need a space in there now 
Okay, now forums, I want that to start out with forum. Now I'm changing things a bit here because what I want it to do is include the board name. Now, unlike all other taxonomy terms, which are found under the taxonomy section, the ones for the form are found under node. So you'll scroll down here to form, and you'll find this. And then the other thing I want to do is instead of using the page title, I want to actually use the node number. Now, why is that? Because people are going to be coming in and using this, and very often they're going to be using the same subject lines in their post, which is going to end up being their title, and this is going to create a mess inside the forum if I go with that method of saving my page pass. By going with just numbers, I keep it organized and straight. So I'm going to save this because I'm not going to change any of these other settings down here. Now let's go on to setting up our patterns for our page titles, which is similar, but not exactly the same. This is found under configuration, obviously, and we scroll down here, and you may have noticed it. It's right here. This is the default, which I'm going to leave alone, but for a blog home page, we want this to say member blogs. For an individual blog entry, however, the page title which we want blog and then the page, the title for the article in question. You can see how I'm building this, so I think I've shown you enough how to work it out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.